the Gotham Museum. All this money spent on security. <laughs> I do love a challenge. And I do love shiny things. Especially if they belong to someone else. Jewels, trinkets, gems, treasure beyond compare. But somehow, they never fill the hole in my heart. So I found a mission. A crusade. My little secret. Or at least, it started that way. Now it's the world's most fabulous game of cat and flying mouse! I wonder who is really chasing who. I am the world's greatest thief, and yet I'll never know if I've truly stolen his heart. Death. It is not certain, nor a given. And life is easily restored to those who know where to look. I cherish life, for I have taken life from death countless times. The truth is, only through death can the world be born anew. In perfect balance. In the past, I desired to share my vision. To found a dynasty to survive humanity's doom. Fools! Now I will wait no longer. I am Ra's al Ghul, and with my League of Assassins, the world will be cleansed, and the worthy alone shall survive. Over and over, end over end. Where will it land? Quick, call it. Heads or tails? Man or monster? Life or death? Who knows what chance will bring? Oh, I used to believe in rules, in laws, in shades of grey. Until it all went up in smoke. flip of a coin, and I forget about right or wrong, or good or evil, and simply find out if things are about to go from bad to worse. Every moment in the Phantom Zone is an eternity. Time to reflect on what should have been, of how my Sunstone fleet should have subjugated the galaxy, if we had not been summoned back to a dying Krypton. Of Kal-El's adopted planet, Earth, which should be Krypton, born again. The Sunstone Crystals, hidden within Kal-El's Fortress of Solitude, are the key. With those, I will restore the glory of Krypton. For General Zod is a survivor. I will survive this darkness. And I will see Krypton restored to greatness! No matter who stands in my way. When I was a kid, all I wanted to be was a pilot. Like my dad. That was my dream. Even when it was a nightmare. That was when I first learned about fear. But if you let fear win, even once, it'll have you by the short hairs for the rest of your life. 
and you can't be afraid of what life might hand you. So you stand tall, grit your teeth, and fight your fears by sheer force of will. You shine the light into the dark corners where fear likes to hide, and you defeat your fears one by one, with a ring or without one. Beware my power. Green Lantern's Light! In my line of work, you see a lot of things. Terrible things. People will surprise you with their callousness, their depravity, their lack of compassion for another living being. But one thing you realize is that you can't outrun your fate. It could come at you from any angle. The barrel of a gun, a vat of chemicals, a cosmic disaster, or even a lightning bolt out of a clear sky. The cosmic scales are always seeking balance. So no matter how large you build that wall, carefully constructed out of bricks and mortar made for the truth and justice itself, evil will always find a way to slip through the cracks. And when it does, you better prepare to settle accounts, because no one, not even me, can outrun their fate.